Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra, Tango, November here from Survival Tech Nord. After the two-day off-grid trip to Lapland, I had some leftover video material which I promised to show you in the first two videos. In this video, we're going to recap the solar power system, the Yaesu FT891 and the Raspberry Pi. Then we're going to transition over to a slash P or portable QSO between myself in Lapland and a station in Japan. So stick with me and I'll tell you all about it. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. In the first video, I showed you how I power my entire station off grid using a folding solar panel a charge controller, and a lithium iron phosphate battery. You'll find links in the description for the folding solar panel, for the charge controller, and for the DIY battery pack. We also talked about the Raspberry Pi and using it for digital modes over HF. You'll also find a link to that video in the description. Many of you have also asked me for a tutorial on getting the Android tablet set up with Raspberry Pi. We'll do that in an upcoming video. I also tried to do some SSB work while in Lapland, but it didn't work out too well because of all of the contests. So let's focus on the antenna configuration and the QSO. I set up the antenna in an inverted V configuration with the apex about 5 meters up off the ground. I had the base of the antenna about 3 meters from my camp. I elevated the center about 5 meters up into a tree and I terminated the end on another tree. To elevate the center of the wire, I used a piece of wood and string I took with me to throw up over a branch, elevating the center portion of the wire. The best aspect of this configuration was not needing a slingshot or any other type of launcher to get the center of the wire up in the tree. So, with the end of my antenna wire terminated and the center elevated, I was left to unroll the wire and attach the coax cable to my radio. As you already know, I was running WSJTX on a Raspberry Pi 3B+. Now, after this two days off-grid in Lapland, I wrote a blog post on embedded computers for amateur radio. In that article, I discussed an integration between a Raspberry Pi or other single board computer and the amateur radio. Now, without this lead in, that article probably wouldn't have looked interesting to you, but I'll leave a link in the description. You might want to check it out. Now, with WSJTX running on that Raspberry Pi, I was actually able to achieve two interesting QSOs with FT8 on that day. The first was Oscar Hotel 3 Kilo Alpha Victor. Now he's about 500 kilometers south of me and to be quite honest I was surprised he could actually hear me. I mean if you look at the left side of the screen the stations coming in many of them I would say the majority of them are DX stations. By the way, Oscar Hotel 3 Kilo Alpha Victor is one of my Instagram buddies. He's always got some interesting things on his feed, so go ahead and follow him if you like. So, Oscar Hotel 3 Kilo Alpha Victor gave me a signal report of minus 20, and I sent him a signal report of minus 2. I was still running relatively low power at this point, but honestly, I'm surprised he heard me at all. Anyway, I'm not complaining, and I'll definitely take it. It's always good to get a friend in the logbook. The next QSO, I have to say, is the polar opposite. That was Jolly at Hotel 1, Sierra Lima Whiskey in Japan. I'm sure the naysayers in the comments are going to start speculating about how I achieved this, but honestly, guys, this is what we've been working towards for a year. And that is a fully capable amateur radio field station without limitations. That's what we've been working towards. So I received a signal report of minus 16 and I sent a report of plus 1. And I'm happy to take it because this is a portable station with a less than optimal antenna configuration in the middle of nowhere, having a DX contact halfway around the world. Now certainly the mode helps 
but the mode wouldn't help if the station was crap to begin with. The antenna is the Chameleon MCOM 3 Portable, and you've seen it on the channel before. Hopefully, many of you are starting to see the puzzle pieces coming together. I think it's time to admit we're actually putting together a fully capable amateur radio field station that's MAM portable. All right, guys, look, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, let me know by leaving me a comment and a thumbs up in the comments. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or somewhere where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.